What's going on everybody, Wild Time here with another World of Warcraft video. Today we're going to take a look at mining in the war within. With mining, you want to know where to put your profession points because as we all know, they don't come fast and they don't come easy and you cannot reset them once you spend them. Before we do that though, don't forget to check out goldcapped.com. There's a lot of good guides over there and there's some pretty in-depth profession guides as well. You get access to an exclusive Discord with a lot of good gold makers. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below as well as a discount code. And don't forget, if you'd like to support this channel, you can always join and be a member or leave a super thanks. I'm going to recommend starting with the Plethora of Ore, putting in 10 points to a Plethora of Ore first and sort of working with this spec. So we're going to take Plethora of Ore, put in 10 points, and then that's going to give us our first sub spec and i'm going to say we go to bismuth because it's going to be the most common and then we just max that all the way out to 45 to where now when we mine bismuth we have a chance of getting a full null stone so this is sort of similar to herbalism with the myco bloom this is the most common ore and it's going to give you a chance to get one of the most uh, rare and probably expensive uh, stones. Not in a fragment, but a full one. So 10 points into Plethora of Ore to open up the subspec for Bismuth. Max Bismuth out. Now eventually you're going to want to do that with all of these. Also along the way here, it's going to give you the ability to refine. So to turn your rank 1s into rank 2s and your rank 2s into rank 3s. Which as I mentioned before, can probably maybe be depending how it goes a good shuffle for gold making after that we're going to head over to mining fundamentals this is going to increase our mining just generally uh, with a lot of stat points here and then you can eventually get down here to gather while you are uh, mounted so the first thing we're going to want to do is just get 20 points into this so we open up a sub spec and then go down here into rich deposits because these have a lot more chance of showing up that I've noticed than the seams. And we're just going to go ahead and max that all the way out to 25. After that, we're going to come back up here to Mining Fundamentals. Max it all the way out with another 40 points to get here to where we can mount and mine at the same time. Okay, so after we've got this all the way up to 60 and this maxed out all the way to 25, I'd come back over here to Plethora of Ore. And then just max out these other two right here, the Acherite and the Iron Claw. So then that way we have a chance of getting Null Stones on all the different things that we're going to come across. So you're going to have to put 40 more points in here to get those other sub specs and then 45 each down here. Finally, I'll jump over to Mastering the Mysterious. Learn this so we can do our overload and then just put a full 45 points into that and that's going to help us on all of our different overloads or if we start spinning in these it's going to be very um type specific this is going to give us a good general buff to all of the empowered nodes after that you'll just want to see which ones that you want to max out depending on what kind of items they're giving and what those items are selling for on the auction house okay so i hope that helps there's my plan for how i'm going to start with uh mining Hope you're having fun playing the game, and until next time, I'll catch you all later.